Hello, good afternoon. It's Clarkson Commercials here in Glasgow once again. And this time round it's another Transit. This one it's in October 2008 on the 58 plate. Ford Transit, 260, short wheelbase, low roof. So it's your standard entry level size Transit van. Very much the tradesman's favourite. Um, this one is a 260 which means it's 2.6 tonne gross vehicle weight. 2.2 turbo diesel, front wheel drive, 85 horsepower, and it's a standard entry level transit van. For those of you that haven't driven one of these uh, newer model transit vans, it's definitely worth getting your backside in the seat because they're extremely comfortable things to drive. The days of feeling you're driving uh, a big muckle van are, are long gone. The, the transits have never been so refined as they are now. They're extremely comfortable and to drive it every day uh, is certainly is no chore, I assure you. Um, and to be fair, a lot of the tradesmen probably spend more time in their van than they do their family car. And what we've seen through these tough economic times is a lot of guys have sold their cars and they're using their van as their sort of uh, runabout at the weekends as well. So um, by doing that, you're not really jeopardising anything because they're just that comfortable. Right, uh, got a full length roof rack on it there, three bars with the side bars along and you've got the roller at the back, so good strong roof rack on it. Travelled 51,000 miles in its life, 51,000, got a full service history. Ply lined in the back, now we have just mopped the van out, that ply is near enough new condition. Uh, the damp sort of patches you see is just our chap with the mop mopping the vans out. Got the steel bulkhead up top, the two lights are still in situ, they very often go missing. Side door, standard issue on the left hand side there. So the van is a one owner, it's got a full service history, MOT till October, so it's got a cracking long MOT on it as well. And hopefully you're finding this video of, of, of some use and some interest. It does take us a lot of time to do these, by the time we upload them, it does take about an hour per video, believe it or not. But uh, it's a wonderful way of showing off the stock. And, you know, should we be in, in, in the business of selling very average used vans, we wouldn't go to this kind of bother. But we do work extremely hard to present vans of this standard. And I think the best way to promote that and push the message home is to do these videos because they're definitely worth it, given the amount or number of uh, very average used vans that are on the UK scene at present. Same story inside really, nice fresh clean upholstery, no cigarette burns or stains or sorts at all. Um, usual new model transit, they're very handy bottle holders, cans, phones, open storage, you've got your um, glove box in there and also your dash top storage up in here as well. Very useful tea, tray, uh, tea table for the morning tea break, if, if that's your thing, it's very, very handy. And the rest of it is self-explanatory, your, your phone power point there, your ventilation controls, 5-speed gearbox, a CD player. Um, this one being the, or rather from 2008 onwards, transits came with electric windows and also uh, remote radio controls that I'll show you in a second. I'll also come around to the driver's side and I'll show you the service history. It is one owner and uh, the service history is fully documented and everything is highlighted as to what's been done on the van uh, to date. But you know, a young van, very much in its first flush of youth, um, lots of life left ahead of it. And um, that's the radio controls there I was talking about, just tucked in behind the, st behind the steering wheel there. Right, <coughs> excuse me. Um, right. This is a an exploded view, if you like, of every single task that's ever been undertaken on the vehicle with regards to maintenance. All your services are listed there. It shows you discs, pads, a couple of bulbs, wiper blades, um, with a knuckle fitted, wheels, tyres. So that is that that document is worth its weight in gold and it, it eliminates and removes any doubt when buying a used van. There's always, um, uh, people are always wondering, you know, okay I'm going to buy this van, whatever van it may be, but they're thinking, you know, where's it been, what's it done, how many owners, has it been serviced, has it not been serviced, but I've got the, the logbook confirming as one owner and we'll get the fully exploded view, <coughs> excuse me again, of the service history. Currently the van today has got 51,159 miles 
and at 49,800 it got new uh, discs, sorry, new pads back in front, uh, brake pads that is, uh, a wheel bearing and a couple of bulbs and that was at its last MOT and we've also got the radio codes up here the key numbers, these are the silly wee things that often go missing so that document, uh, we don't keep it in the vehicle, it's too valuable for that in our eyes that stays in the, in the office along with the logbook logbook confirming uh, it's one owner and just some of our internal bits and bobs in there that are probably not much interest to you this is the new style MOT um, that uh, is how I really don't like them to be honest. I think they've, uh, uh, at least the previous MOT felt you had an official document.